Hello, back again. I'm just going to show you how to use a USB hard drive with your TV head end setup. Right, we're going to use a bit of software called PuTTY to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. I'll just start that up. You want to enter in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi or the host name. I've already got a login saved, so I'm just going to load it. And then I'm just going to change one setting so the uh, text is larger. Then I'm going to click open. Uh, let me just move it and I'll just resize the uh, window. And open up my text document with my settings. I'll make it a bit bigger so it's easier to see. Right, we're going to log into the Raspberry Pi. So it's Pi, then your password. And that's done. Thing we're going to do now is find the UUID of your hard drive, which is the identifier. So uh, copy this bit of text, right click, copy, then just right click to paste it in and then click enter and that's done. The uh, first three, uh, well a forward slash DEVs are the uh, SD card plugged into your Raspberry Pi. The last one, which is DEV SDA1, is my USB hard drive with its UUID. I know it's the hard drive because it's a NTFS. And then after UUID, you can see its identifier. So we want to copy this. So I'm just going to highlight it, which will copy it to clipboard. Then I'm going to uh, go to my text document and I'm just going to replace all these zeros. Just right click and paste. So now we've got the UUID number pasted in. The thing we're going to do now is mount the drive. So just copy this uh, line of text, copy it. And uh, do the same again. Right click to paste and then enter. I'm just going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move down. I'll just go down one more. And now we're going to copy this uh, line of text. So you've got your UUID and then the mount point, which is TV. You can change that name, it's up to you, but make sure you remember it because we're going to be using it again in a minute. And the rest of the text is auto mount. So if you ever do a reboot of your TV head end setup, it will automatically remount the drive. So I'm going to copy it, right click to paste. So that's done. Then I'm going to control X on my keyboard. Then I'm going to click uh, Y for yes and then enter. So that's saved. The thing I'm going to do now is re uh, reboot the Raspberry Pi. So just do sudo reboot. Click enter. Click OK and we can close down PuTTY. So that's all done. I'll just uh, minimize my text document. Thing we're going to do now is log into a Raspberry Pi via your browser. Right, I'll just open up Google, uh, Google Chrome and TV head ends.
Right, I'm going to go into configuration. Thing I would do, where you see user interface level, make sure it's set to expert, or you might not see all the options. Then I'm going to go into recording. And on the right, I'm just going to scroll down where it says recording file options. And then we've got recording system path. And this is the part we're going to change. I'll just open my text document. Just move it to the left. And all we need is this part, the uh, forward slash MNT forward slash TV. Just going to right click and copy and paste it in. Going to click save up on the left. So that's done. Now I'm going to go into my EPG. I'll just change it over to now. Uh, what shall I record? Uh, I'll record that one. Just go into info, record program. And if you see the uh, little red dot, that means everything is set up right. So I'll let that run for a little while. Right, I'll just uh, stop the recording. I'll just click stop. And then yes. Got a little tick. I'll go into my digital video recorder. And then on finished recordings. Uh, so it's the one down the bottom, Devon and Cornwall. So I just click on it to highlight it. Then I'm going to click download. I'll just save it to my videos. I just want to test the recording to make sure it's okay. And that's done. Just go into my videos and click on the recording. So uh, there's my recording. Yep, that looks okay. I've turned the volume down anyway. If you're wondering where the sound is, I'll just fast forward for it a bit. I don't know if that's Devon or Cornwall. I have been to both. I just don't know which one that is. Just close that down. So that's how you... Uh, set up a USB hard drive to use with TV head end. So as always, uh, I hope this video helps and uh, goodbye.